And on that, uh, the um, six games now without a win, but maybe even worse than losing tonight. You know, V, you threw away a 3-3, sorry, a 3-0 lead to a, a minnow with 15 minutes to go. City look in real trouble at the moment. Yeah, they do. They look they look like there's no turning around, to be honest with you. They look like there's whatever the attempted solutions are, aren't working out. And to be up 3-0 with, what was it, less than 25, I think, 25 minutes left in the game or 30 minutes left in the game? 15, 15 75 minutes. 15. 75, thanks, Mo. So to surrender three goals like that, it's 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 devastating. It's absolutely devastating. And when I point out, when I point out the fact that we're we're facing some situations, and I, I hear it, Arsenal fans. They don't they don't want to hear about the the one injury with regards to Rodri. They don't want to hear any of that. But I'm bringing up different things when I talk about what we're facing, and and it's it's like like you say, Terry. Like mainstream media choose to ignore it. Rivals obviously choose to ignore it. You brought up the fact of Sir Alex Ferguson never faced a crumbling like this. And you're, you're right. I, I don't know if we would be looking this poor if it was still the group stages with regards to Champions League. But after winning your three in a row, I think you fell off to finishing third in the league. I think you might have not made semis, maybe quarterfinals. I could be wrong. I think you exited quarterfinals mm -hmm. in the Champions League. We're facing that type of that type of season after a four peat. So I don't know what it what it needs to be from Pep in terms of getting these players to play. Because one thing that I notice is that the familiarity of oh we're in this position, we're up two, three goals, we're not expecting the opposition to really attack us. That's all changed. Whether that's changed because they they look and they don't see Rodri back there, so they're like we can go after them, or maybe they look and they're like you know what. They're not the same city from past seasons. But we're being attacked, especially late in games. We're surrendering some very poor goals. I don't know how Pep fixes this because I was actually happy with the 11. Can I question his subs? Because that's when the that's when everything kind of changed, putting a nice youngster in the, the academy in defense, seeing as good as a game as Gavardio had for him playing poorly at the end and those goals that we surrendered. Ederson, the way he ran out of the box to surrender that goal, these are all errors that I can't really put on Pep, what's going on here? But I can go, Pep, why aren't the players as laser-focused as they have been? And I, I honestly, I truly believe, because these players are not robots, no disrespect to your other managers at your clubs, but listen, Arsenal fans, you know how difficult. Your greatest manager of, of Arsene Wenger wasn't able to win back-to-back. -back. Pep has, a, has been able to win four in a row. I don't know how he goes back and gets these players motivated again. I think that's the biggest challenge we're facing as a club right now. And yes, we can all cry, we can all whine, we can all be upset with our board for not investing. But listen, we can all we can all do that. We can all cry like that. Real Madrid fans cry like that. United, Spurs, all of you, all of you cry like that. So yes, I can look at my 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 ownership, I can look at my board and say, "You know what? Why didn't we reinvest properly?" But I still think we have enough quality to not be having mistakes like this. We have enough quality not to be surrendering three goals in the 75th minute and beyond, like Mo just mentioned. I don't know what Pep needs to do. I honestly don't. These players, as a man, need to look at each other and be accountable because those mistakes fall onto the individuals, not Pep. Vader, Vader, I, I, I beg to differ, right? So with what let, part? With what part? With everything you said, every single thing. So let's every let, single let's, thing. Yeah, okay. let's start. Let's, let's start again. Right, let's ahead. start again. Pep Guardiola, arguably, is the greatest manager in the last 15 years. In this football game worldwide, there's 8 billion people in this world. There's well over 200 million from amateur players, kids, women, and men who play football worldwide. And Pep Guardiola is at the top of the food chain when it comes to managers, number one. Number two, Manchester City, arguably, is the best team currently, right now, in the last three, four years. Currently, you're wrong. Hold on, but hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me finish. And I'm talking about based off of your fan base, the achievements, the things that you said you've done. Rodri just won the Ballon d'Or, even though he's not playing for you because he's injured. The exactly. best player in the world just came out of your team, right? We can go down the list. Player of the season last season, Phil Foden, came out of your team. Manager of the year. We can, we can, we can. I, we I can, don't know how all these points so, so, so my point. So my, so my point is, 
the excuse that you want to give now that oh he needs to encourage the players or they need some kind of it's it, it doesn't hold water when you're no, I didn't make that. any excuses. No, no, I'm I did not what, make one excuse. Listen, I broke said, down. No, 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 said. no. Don't no paraphrase. Don't paraphrase incorrectly. Because I didn't make any excuse. I just broke down on what we're seeing from my club. None of them were excuses. Do you know what you see from your club? Do you know what you're seeing right now from your club? You know what it is? Tell me. It's very, it's very, very, very simple. Oh, it is. Your okay. your, your your team was built around one player, and he's not there right now, and it's beginning to crumble. And it's going to take a while for Pep to figure it out over the next few games. When it happens to other teams, you guys come here and you tell those teams, oh, don't give that, don't say that. You guys don't want to admit. because And, and, and here's how I'll prove it to you. Last season, the reason I know that your team is built around Rodri is last season, Rodri had a red card. And for those three games that he had a red card for, you drew two, lost one. Explain last season, why I won this just, season just, just that little, Just that little data from last Dial, season. explain why I won games without Rodri this season. You still have good players. You're going to win games. No, 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 don't save them. Don't save them. Let them explain. No, no. Explain no, why, no. if I'm only, if I'm only Rodri no. FC, explain why was I able to win games without him then? The purple games, patch. Hold on, it's a the, purple hold patch. Hold on, the game, purple hold on, hold on. Patch, the games you won, how did you win them? You you celebrated a 2-2 against Arsenal with 10 men Arsenal at the Etihad because the referee that's, probably... That's literally, draw, not a win. No, 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 let's, let's go, let's go through every single game that you've won without Rodri. Let's go through every single game. How did you win those games? You didn't win convincingly. You did not win convincingly. Now so, that Rodri is out, how am I losing this game? How City I fans this? don't want to criticize Pep Guardiola. It's, it's, it's That's what it comes down to. Pep has am I criticizing Rodri. Pep or am oh. I criticizing the loss right, of yes. Rodri? He's, he's what, literally, he's literally come for Pep and said he needs to motivate these players. I, I really I, uh... don't know what you want Vita to say. He said no, no, it's I not. Know, it's I know not. I'm sorry. You got no, no, no. You guys want to spin it into something that he's not even saying. No, but at the end of the day, I, I, look, he's correcting what he's saying. It comes from the manager. No, if the humble, teams are humble, performing eh? this badly, humble. when you're collapsing humble. this badly, it is motivation. Right now, yeah, can I can I stop here? Can I stop you here? I'm sorry, souls. He's talking about motivation, and it's hard to do it yeah. after four pit. How is motivation justify a manager's decision? To have that defensive mistakes and still play a high line and get beaten three times at the same time. Um, did you uh, see that last good. goal that they can, conceded? Can someone, by the way. Okay. Wait, wait, wait! So, you want so, me to respond or the Arsenal fans to respond? Yeah, yeah, to no, you, no, no, no. You, Vater, tell me tactically how is it motivation that he did that three times in a row in multiple games and now this game by itself you were caught two, three times over the top behind the the high line. Go ahead. So, so Mo, it, you'll understand this as a player. You used to do this. If you have, if you've been playing a style of play that's gotten you these results, because we were three up with this style, with this high line. If it weren't for the players and their defensive mistakes, we're looking at this game differently. I'm not looking at the system in this particular case. Pep should not have been playing a, a high line. I'm looking at how we executed, how we were trying to play, and what the players did in terms of errors. So when you want when you want me to crash it on my manager, I'll do it when appropriate. When it falls to a player, I'll assign it to a player. So that's what I'm here to do. And I'm not, listen, if you guys want to run with your narratives the way Dio wants to spin it and talk about all this kind of nonsense, nothing that I said, excuses, go ahead and do that. I'm here to break down the game, which I did. And I'll answer any and other questions. I'm here for another five. I put it in the chat. I have v, to go. V, v, Can I say you know one what, more thing, Terry? I want to say, say, sorry, sorry. Where I want to back you, V, I think you have criticized Pep. And I think there are things to criticize. I'm seeing City fans tonight. And it's interesting because I remember speaking to Liverpool fans about this four or five years ago. We don't go get toxic and angry online. You will when your team goes through bad patches. You're humans like the rest of us. I'm seeing fans go mad. Why did he bring on... I'm going to say his name wrong. Is it Pussy? Is that how you pronounce it's it? It's pussy. Why did they bring him on? This is wrong. This is wrong. I want to read a, a stat out tonight. Well, I don't think Pep did anything wrong bringing that young man on per se. Maybe they should have been sitting a bit deeper. But I want to read something out.